Bearden puts his foot into it. A low line drive kick taken in at the five yard line. Across the 20, across the 25, and Howard Jackson finally upended as he gets to the 27 yard line. And Antonio Carter is the deep man for the Crimson Tide. He's had three kickoff returns this year, but he hasn't had a punt return yet. And he may not get one here as the kick. A wobbly one that takes a UTEP roll and will be touched down at the 24 yard line. 162 yards rushing and a total of three touchdowns on the day. He rolls and throws on first down. He finds Freddie Millens, who's finally bumped out of bounds up at the 40 yard line. Santonio San Beard checks into the game at tailback for Bama on third and five. Option look. Watch. Turns the corner, has a first down and more in the Miners' territory. Millens, the motion man. Tyler rolls and will now keep it. Steps out of bounds at the 30-yard line, and that should be good for the first down. Second down and officially seven yards for the tide as Galloway gets the call again, breaks free. Down the sideline, Galloway will step out of bounds at the three. 25-yard gain. It's first and goal from the three. Bama's in the red zone again. The give to Lau, and he's in for the touchdown. Donnie Lau's first touchdown of his career. Pitch it back, and they run the reverse to Mays. Salim Rashid tracks him down. Cleveland, the single setback, he gets the carry. And will have the first down as he moves it out to the 27-yard line where he's met by Brooks Daniels, sophomore from Jasper, Florida. To the I formation on first down. Phillips floats it down the boundary and the catch is made. Terrence Miner. Phillips finds Mays again, but he's wrapped up and dropped at the 40-yard line. Herschel Bolden there. Reggie Miles giving some help. They're three out of eight on fourth down so far this year. The draw, and he's not going to get the first down. Beard and Galloway flanking Tyler Watts in the backfield. Watts unloads, looking for McCadley, and he makes the catch! Two holdings and a illegal block already today. Option to Beard, turns it up. Spun down at the 35, the 34-yard line. As the Miners crowd the line on defense. Watch to throw again. Unleashes, caught by Triandos Luke. Nice diving catch. Bama's been in the red zone once today and came away with a touchdown. Up the gut, we'll have another one. Donnie Lau, no, they'll mark him down at the one foot line. And I think it's starting to show up and hopefully we'll see further on through the game. Lau walks into the end zone for the touchdown. So last week it was Tyler Watts finding the end zone all day long. Today it's the fullback, Donnie Lau. That's exactly right, and that's what we saw earlier on the reverse. Bobbled snap and a sack. Kendall Moorhead plants Wesley Phillips. Benicos. One may have been partially blocked. It checks up as it lands at the 35. Touch dead at the 31. That'll be an eight yard punt. Collins in motion, but the handoff is to the offensive juggernaut of the day so far. Donnie Lau, the fullback, lumbers far. Dumps it off to Lau this time. Inside the 20, bumped out of bounds at the 14. It's second and six. Bama can get a first down without scoring. Watts finds 
his man. Triando Sloop. Touchdown, Alabama. He stands around his own 40-yard line. Benicos, another wobbly kick. AC does field it. Shakes one man as he takes it up to the 47-yard line. Watts will pitch it to Galloway, trying to turn the corner. He is very, very close to the first down marker as Robert Rodriguez made the tackle. Watts looks for him, floats it. Caught as the flag comes down. Millens wrapped up and dropped at the 15. There you see Freddie Millens, 133 catches in his Alabama career. Watts on the bootleg will have a lot of running room. Tyler Watts, touchdown. Back under center, trying to get something going. Up the gut, Austin explodes through a big hole. Reggie Miles finally brings him down. Quick throw. And the catch is made by Terrence Miner on the far side. Phillips rolls and throws. Finds his tight end, Jonas Crafts, in the soft part of the, uh, soft part of the zone. Shotgun look for Phillips. Guns it as a flag comes in. The catch is made by Will Smith. Alabama says it's on the minors, and it is. Antonio Carter stands with his heels on the 10. Another shank by Benicos. Favorable roll. Just outside the 15-yard line. Give to Galloway, right up the middle, stays on his feet. Lumbers out to the 34, and we'll have a first down. And a beautiful kick by Bearden. Out of bounds at the 12. Sets to throw, bobbled, and that one is intercepted. Kendall Moorhead on the deflection, comes up with the turnover for the tie. Terry Jones Jr., a rare drop on his part. Option back to Galloway, turns it up, dives inside the 15, and will have a first down. Four for four. Bama's got it. At the 10, Tyler will tuck it and run and score. Been good for the most part all day long for Dennis Franchoni. Miners fumble the football, still loose, and Bama comes up with it. So it's first and 31. Watts follows his blockers. Ducks his head as he gets it to the 40-yard line as we hit the two-minute mark. Seven carries for 56 yards and two touchdowns. Back to the air. He rifles that pass complete to Sam Collins. If you can convert third and 30, you can get third and 11. And Watts will do it. Inside the 10, down to the two. 37 seconds, it's second and goal. Give, nope, gonna throw it. Tipped and caught for a touchdown. Nearly intercepted, and a diving grab by Triando Sloop, his second touchdown catch of the day. 42 to nothing, Alabama, and we're not even to halftime yet. Cleveland will run out the clock. And I wouldn't think the Miners 
will risk another snap here in the first half. Dennis Franchoni, 7-1 all-time against UTEP, is well on his way to 8-1 right now. An almost magical first half of football if you could take away the penalties. Third down. Tyler to throw. Catch is made by Millens, but they wrap him up, and he will not get the first down. He's going to be a yard shy. His only punt went 58 yards. Wobbly spiral this time. And that one will roll dead at the 13. Same story on the other side. You expect the Miners to try and get as many guys as they can into the game here in the second half. Carter makes the catch in traffic of the punt as a flag is down back at the line of scrimmage. We've been able to put pressure on their quarterback so far today and, and has cut down his time in the pocket, uh, which, which restricts the receivers to the number of moves they can make on the defensive back. Starts out under center. First and 10 from the 41. Marvin Brown ducks his head. Good, tough running as he barrels across the 45-yard line. You know, and that's something he really stresses, hanging on to the football. Hudson, the ball carrier this time, and Ray dives across midfield to the 45. 5,400 yards passing in his Alabama career, 1,500 yards a year ago. He'll tuck this one, take a pop, coughed it up, but I think he may have gotten it back. No, the Miners come away with it. Now a fumble, and who's going to get it? Bama gets it back. Jason McCadley sprinting downfield, stripped Brandon Yates of the football, I believe making that point to Santonio Beard. Brown plows over a tackler or two and will have a first down. First downs also weighed heavily in the Tide's favor. Andrew, nobody to throw it to, now finds a man. What a catch! Dre Fulgham hauls it in. And even five minutes to play. Third and 12 now for Alabama. Zao hit as he throws and completes it to Freddie, who will have a first down. The sophomore from Fort Worth gets him to the ground. Up the middle, Marvin Brown bouncing off tacklers and finds the end zone. Bacon working his way into the starting lineup after Sean Toure was injured. Carter, no fair catch called for. And look at this. AC across the 45, and then a late flag comes in. Thought he was trying to maybe dive over him, but it will cost him 15. They scored 47. Bama has eclipsed that already today. Zao trying to run the option and goes nowhere. Dan Kerr wraps him up and keeps him from being able to make the pitch. Bama approaching 500 yards again. Offense this afternoon. Good protection for Zao, but finally breaks down and he'll be sacked. Jeremy Castillo wrapped him up again and dropped him. And it's only third and 21. <laughs> They'll roll the pocket this time for Andrew, who throws on the run, completes it to McCadley for the first down. Back to the I formation for Alabama. Hudson plowing straight ahead. Back up the gut with Marvin Brown. Lumbers to the five, and that'll be another first down for Alabama. At this very moment, Andrew with 5,411, surpassing Jay Barker's total. Hudson, touchdown. First touchdown of the season for Ray Hudson. Shopper. 
gives it away and a blown coverage by the Alabama defense. It would be a 42 yard try for Robinson. And they shift again. Phillips, the quarterback, quick screen, caught, but no, incomplete. And Alabama seemed to have that one very well scouted. Bearden, very solid punting. Line drive kick this time that will take a favorable roll. And trickles out of bounds inside the 20 yard line. Led the team in tackles as a true freshman. First time that's ever happened at Alabama. Big hit on Shopper, but he gets the pass away. Reeled in by Dirk Dillard across the way. A win today would be the 20th against a team from the big state. 2014 and one now for Alabama. Shopper weaving his way through traffic, and he may go. He does. Shopper on a quarterback keeper takes it the distance for a touchdown. And there goes the shutout. When Alabama routed the Rebels at home, Hudson breaks it outside. Tries a stiff arm, and he steps out of bounds at the 48-yard line. And you always have to be ready at a moment's notice, don't you? That's exactly right. Bearden, a little pooch punt that Finner hauls in at his 12-yard line. Shadows just about to cross completely over the playing field here at Legion Field. Shopper from his goal line completes the pass. Able to keep his feet and motor down the sidelines. Jason Glover. But for non-conference games, you have a lot more freedom to dress out players. Shopper in trouble, and he'll go down. Just about everybody that has dressed likely will get in the game today. Carter fields the short punt right at midfield. Give to Santonio Beard on the draw. Takes it down to the 40-yard line. But Alabama, three trips to the Sun Bowl. Gary Hollingsworth made a couple of stops in El Paso, and Alabama's 3-0 in those games. Give to Donnie Lau. Once again, no, excuse me, Nick Signaggio. Gary Nord and his crew. We said regroup, and they have to go way west next week. They'll fall to one and five all time against the Southeastern Conference and have really, really struggled in the five losses before today, outscored by an average of 44 to six and a half. Hudson tripped up or he may have found pay dirt. Well, I just think coming in that Coach Nord knew it was going to be a tough game. They're going to have to play one of their best games. And then to lose Lee Mays like they did early in the game, I think was a big blow to them. Dennis Franchoni. And Alabama will not have to snap it again. Makes his way across the field to visit with Gary Nord. And the clock shows zeros as Alabama gets the win, rolling up 588 yards of offense, producing 56 points.